Welcome back to another episode of Cobra Kai Companion. I am Peter, and for this episode, we're continuing uh, to amplify uh, the AAPI voices for Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Uh, joining me is Xander Serrano, aka Sandman, aka Dirk from Cobra Kai. How you doing, Xander? Good. How are you, Peter? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, f- finally, nice to meet you uh, face to face. Now, for those that don't really watch our YouTube videos, because I, I know uh, we, we get a lot more listeners on the uh, on the audio podcast, to give them some context, um, your character didn't show up until season two, uh, and you were um, one of the background Cobras uh, for seasons two and three. In season three, you flip sides and you uh, follow Sensei Johnny Lawrence and become Eagle Fang. Okay, so, right. so yeah, you're one of those kids. Um, yeah, man. So, you know, I I haven't done this with like uh, our our previous two uh, interviewees, um, Nathan and Mark. So I, w- I want to do this with you uh, because we're kind of like amplifying our voices. Uh, I do want to you know to uh, talk about your heritage and background a little bit. Now, you do come from the Philippines, correct? Um, my heritage is mostly from the Philippines. Yes. Okay, but are um are are you from the Philippines at all? Or... No, I'm actually from uh, Georgia. Like okay. I was, I was born here. Um, my parents came over from the Philippines. Um, they were in New York, and then they moved down south to Georgia. So. Oh no, kidding! What what island were they from? Um, I th- I'm pretty sure like like Manila area around the main area. Um, okay, I I, I work um like I work with uh, three Filipinos, and I know one of them's from Cebu. Cebu, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, they're always talking in Tagalog, and I don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom, she um, she does, she speaks, and she understands it. My dad just understands it. They moved when they were really young, so. I see. Okay, yeah. Um, I kind of get that a lot too when people are like, "Oh, so where where are you from?" And I go, "Texas." <laughs> they're like, "No, Texas. like, where's your family from?" I'm like, "Well, my family is from Texas. Like, you know, I, I was born in Texas, uh, Corpus Christi, yeah. and um." You know, my parents came here when they were relatively young too, but they've they've uh, traveled everywhere. You know, they were originally from Laos. I, I think that's what people usually mean, but I'm always messing around. And then from Laos, they went to France, and I think they met in France, and then ultimately came to the U.S. So, um, okay. yeah, there we go. So, uh, so your Filipino background. Let's just uh, talk a little bit about that. You know, just to um, enlighten people uh, that may be not privy to to the, your your culture. Um, in, in terms of like food, culinary arts there, uh, what is something that you would recommend to people that want to try Filipino food? I would recommend, um, I like sinigang. It's like this sour soup. Um, it's really good. It doesn't, you know, sour soup. It's like, I don't know about that, but then once you try it, it's, it's pretty good. Um, adobo chicken is favorite, of course. Um, what else? Those what's are, the uh, what's the sausage you guys got? The sausage, la, la um, basa, or maybe is that something else? No, um, what was it? It's not coming to my head right now. But um, shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I know what it. I know what it looks like. But, yeah, yeah. Sour soup. I'm gonna have to look into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes we have a potluck at work, and some of the Filipinos will will bring in some of their food. So, mm-hmm. and I I think that's always like the first to clean like go you know everyone's like yes 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 give me all the filipino food yeah exactly um, um, now there's, there's some like um specific like weird foods like um balut i don't know yeah, if you've heard about that. i love balut yeah it's <laughs> you know the the duck and the egg yeah the, the chicken and the egg um and it, then like it tastes like chicken noodle soup oh yeah yeah if <laughs> if you can get past that there's a fetus Just the initial look <laughs> of it. yeah right yeah <laughs> It tastes all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fine. You know, if you know how to season something, Mm -hmm. you know, you can eat anything. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then dinner go on. It's a pork's blood. Okay. About that. Um, Like gelatin. It's like, it's actual pork's blood and then like meat in there too. Like pork. Okay. I know. I think I know what you're talking about. I also watched like Andrew Zimmer, you know, um, Oh yeah. 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 And he's always trying different things. And I, I think I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, like 
some weird foods from from us oh yeah yeah i mean we're as third world as they get um mm -hmm. you know we, we have our version of balut which probably isn't too different um I too like the intestines, but usually in our soups, you know, like we have like curry noodles and things like that. And you can find intest uh, pork intest pig intestines in that. Um, chicken feet at dim sum. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our version of the chicken feet too. Um, I know this is probably, people are like, what the hell? <laughs> but like, like all this know, weird like, food. Yeah. Look, we don't let anything go to waste. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh yeah, always yeah. leave with a clean plate. <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah, it's, it's it's hard out there. You know, people are just running around like kids are just running around with pants. You know, shorts. You know, they don't have t-shirts or shoes. No t-shirts or shoes. Yeah. yeah. So so we we'll eat whatever. You know. So. Exactly, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm I'm more of a like, I'm a soup guy. Um, I also like what's called what's called lap. You know, I think a lot of people when they go to a Thai restaurant, it looks like it's pronounced larb. Um, oh yeah, yeah yeah i think i think on one of the spider-man movies like aunt may and peter parker go eat thai and they even order larb and i'm like that's not how you say it <laughs> uh, but to be fair it's that's the way it's spelled right but yeah. um americans uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> americanized yeah uh so there's that papaya salad is always a good one um and there's like a thai papaya salad and also lao papaya salad the difference is the lao one we also use like um Oh gosh, it's a, it's a type of fish sauce, like a uh, fermented fish sauce or something like that. Like a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, they're like, oh, you know, they can't they can't stomach the the, the smell, but that's how you know things are usually pretty good. <clears throat> Pardon me. You good? <laughs> but yeah, and usually, like if it smells bad, it it will probably taste good. Um, you know, like durian, <laughs> the the fruit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, durian. Yeah. Yeah. Some people can't stand that, but the smell of it, they can't yeah, get over. But, but it's then... pretty good. Yeah, when you try it, you're like, hmm, all right. Yeah. <laughs> now, what what about like a uh, pop culture, like um, cinema? Uh, is there any like big Filipino movies people might be able to check out? Because you know now now they have like all these different shows on Netflix. Like my um, my sister who still lives down in Texas, Corpus Christi, uh, she mm -hmm. actually just messaged me. Was it yesterday? Yeah, uh, she messaged me yesterday and, and said, "Hey, I think you'll like the show." And I forgot what it was called, but um, I looked it up and it was a Thai show on Netflix that's streaming. Oh. Yeah, um, there's a lot of a lot of shows on Netflix that are like, you know, international and like Asian and yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but I know my mom watches a bunch of Filipino shows <laughs> on Netflix and I'm like, what are you watching? She's like, oh, no, this or that, you know, Filipino show. I'm like, oh, okay. Because I don't, I don't watch a lot of like, you know, TV or, you know, um, like, um, what should we call it? I don't watch a lot of Netflix and all that stuff. Okay. But, um, other people watch it. So I'm, you know, always talking with them about shows or this or that. So. Are you familiar with the actor Dante Basco? Dante, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who played Rufio on, in Hook? In Hook, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Um, he was a part of a movie called The Debut. Do you, are you familiar with that one? Yeah. The, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. I actually interviewed the director, you know, like years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Gene Callejon, or, or I, th I think was his name. Um, but uh, I spoke with him and they had an idea for a sequel, but, you know, they don't really have the funds for it. But um, I think that's a pretty good movie, you know, for anybody that's interested in the Filipino culture. Like if they have access to the debut, um, I think, in my opinion, from an outsider, I think that shows, you know, your guys' uh, culture, like the, um, you know, the sister turns, I think, 18, and they have this ball for her, and Dante Basco uh, plays her brother, who's a little bit out of touch of his, of his background, and uh, so he attends the ball and kind of rediscovers uh, his people, and uh, along the way, you know, he finds a young lady that he takes a liking to, and, you know, all that, so... So there's my recommendation for anybody that's interested. Um, yeah. Okay. So Xander, let's learn a little bit more about you. Um, so you're born and raised in Georgia? Yeah. Yeah. Born and raised in Georgia. Um, parents? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, growing up, what were you into? What was I into? Um, time, uh, what specific time? time well, uh, like like uh, what, what were some of your um, 
you know, kind of like hobbies, you know, like did, you, you're on Cobra Kai. Did you uh, participate in martial arts growing up? I did, yeah. Um, martial arts, I did um, Taekwondo. I was, I made it to third degree, um, second, second level black belt, you know. Um, I did Jiu Jitsu. I did, what else did I do? I did extreme martial arts. Do you know what that is? Um, no. It's like with, um, you know, doing the handsprings and like the front flips. Like, kind of like demonstrations like, like that? Yeah, yeah. Sort of dem demo stuff. Um, I think some... Nate did that too. Nate? Oh, really? I, I, okay. Either he did that or that's what he wants to do because he took Taekwondo. He did do Taekwondo. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. What else did I do? And I did our niece. Um, the, first, the first ones... I learned from uh, my master, master church, master Kyle church. And then our niece, I learned actually from the Philippines. So um, I was taught by my, my, like my great uncle and he's, he's like a grandmaster over there. And he used the, like he was quoted or um, given the title of like the father of Sinawali or okay. like, our niece Kali sticks, like modern our knee sticks because he he made his like own practice and stuff and um he was in a lot of a lot of movies and tv like he was doing stunt stuff in there so um he was he was well known in the philippines so so you're, you're actually pretty young i um what are you like 20 right now 19 i'm 20 yes yeah okay see so i have a daughter that just turned 19 my son is turning 21 in june so you're right there, uh, same age as, as my kids. So for someone like you, how do you decide, you know, like, hey, at this point, I'm going to try a different style of martial arts? Because you just, you just mentioned like three of them, right? Mm -hmm. So how, how, do, how does one do that? Um, I did all these when I was, I was, I was little, um, from all the way up until like 13. And I, I stopped at a certain point because, you know, Taekwondo, I don't think I could advance to the next like degree hmm. until I was a certain age, like 16 or something. So I, I stopped with that. Um, and I guess I, I stopped all, like everything altogether, but I did most, most everything around that time frame, like when I was young up until like 13. So um, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. It, it's always interesting to find out who's actually had, um, you know, experience in martial arts, like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, one of my big surprises really early on when we started interviewing people was Susan Gallagher, who plays Homeless Lynn. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Know, she too dabbled in uh, martial arts. Um, you know, this, we're talking almost three years ago, so I'm kind of forgetting exactly what style. But yeah, it's always, you know, kind of like, oh, okay, well, you did too? Well, that's, that's really interesting. And I guess um, you just don't really think about it. And if you, you know, you no. don't know unless you ask. So mm -hmm. now after you stopped kind of doing martial arts did you start doing anything else like in in school did you uh, participate in any uh, any other activities like acting or anything like that uh yeah i well i stopped martial arts because you know school was getting you know a little bit harder and then um you know there's they were having doing more homework and then plus i was doing like after school activities um i did lacrosse i did um what else did i do I did tennis. I did. Um, I I did chorus too. Actually, um, I was interested. Always interested in like doing acting stuff, um, but I never got around or the time to do it. So, but I I was always interested in stuff like that. Um, so you so you sang in. I sang. Yes. Yeah. I did. What, what were you? Tenor. Um, Baritone. It's been a long time, but I was. I'm pretty sure, I mean, my voice was probably way higher back then. Um, I, was, I was probably like, you know, the, the mid, mid range probably. Yeah, I, 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 th I think baritone. It, it's been a really long time for me too because I, I too was in choir all four years. Oh, cool. And the funny thing is I was a bass and you wouldn't be able to tell that from my voice. Yeah. But, but also we were high school boys, you know, so not a lot of us had a really deep voice, yeah. you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in school and I was, you know, voice, you know, voice changes didn't happen yet, so. Right, yeah, yeah, my, my son, who's your age, he also um, 
uh, took all four years of uh, acquire. And matter of fact, we had the same teacher in high school because oh, I, I was cool. a teen father. So my a lot of my teachers were still there when he was going through school. So anytime I had like a parent teacher conference, I'd kind of look around and be like, oh, there's Mr. That, there's you know, Mrs. This. No, everybody, yeah. Yeah, let, let me go say hi real quick. And they'll be like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm here with my son. They're like, you have a kid that's in high school. I'm like, well, you guys probably remember me bringing him to school and taking him to the school daycare, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. anyway. Um, so so acting, was, was that at all serious in high school or that, that was just like something you did like just to, you know, take classes? Um, it was actually an afterthought because um, my, my brother, he started doing, um, you know, the acting stuff like seriously. And he was in, um, what was it? high school or middle school, the worst years of my life or something. I don't know. Okay. Movie, but um, as uh, he, yeah, he did, he did, he was in that movie. And then I was like, I sort of want to do that. And I was in high school. So I, you know, I, I had a little more time on my hands to do things. Um, and so I, you know, I, I started, or I wouldn't say I had a little more time. I guess I was better at managing my time. Right. Like in high school. So I was like, okay, I'll, you know, let me try some, some stuff. And then Cobra Kai was actually the very first thing that I did. Um, right. So, and I, you know, I was, I was interested. My mom asked me, do you want to, you know, do you want to do this, do something for Cobra Kai and go, go into this role? And I'm like, okay, why not? Yeah. So, so it was actually her, not you. Yeah. Was, it, was, yeah. it was her that was, you know, finding stuff for me and, you know, I was like, keep you okay, busy. Sure, I'll, I'll try it. Cause I, I, I heard of Cobra Kai and you know, I was like, okay, yeah, they're on YouTube red. I haven't, I haven't watched it or anything, but yeah, for sure. So I understand you had like a karate kid moment in the Philippines. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Um, so when I, you know, I had my martial arts training right in the right. States here in the U S but when I went to the Philippines, you know, my, um, I got trained in Arnis or, you know, Kali Sticks, Sinuali, um, by my, my great uncle. Um, and, you know, at the time I was like, okay, he's, he's my, my, my mom's cousin. And, you know, I, di I didn't know like exactly who he was or, you know, he was just like, he was there and teaching me and he taught me for, I think two weeks. Two weeks and he, he he told me I'm gonna enter you into this tournament. I'm like, I've only been here for for like a month, and you I've only been training with you for two weeks. He's like, I think you're good, and I was like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then he entered me into the tournament, and you know, I was it was I don't know it was it was exciting and I was anxious at the same time. Cause you know, I didn't know how it, how it do stack up against these, these, these other kids who were like training their whole lives, like from when they're tiny. Uh -huh. So, you know, I, I went through the, the competition, the tournament bracket, and I ended up beating all of them when winning the tournament in my division. So. Wow. Was, well, congrats. I, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. When, uh, so, so I was asking your mom, you know, like, um, there's not a whole lot of you out there, uh, you information on you out there, right? So I had to, to, to do my best. And, and, um, and I asked your mom also, like, is there anything in particular you think I should bring up? And she goes, ask him about his karate kid moment. So I thought it was going to be like something related to the movie, but you literally had a karate kid I had, moment. Like, yeah, I literally had a karate kid moment. And I was, it was crazy. It was, it's funny because it's, it's really similar to what happened with, you know, in the- Daniel. The old movie with Daniel, yeah, right, it's right, Machio. So it's cool. <laughs> do do any of the guys uh, on set know about the story? I think uh, I told who what was his, what's his name? Um, uh, Johnny. Uh, uh, Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. Yeah. Okay. Drew a blank there for a second. Billy, yeah. Um, I told Billy once and he was like, that's awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Billy. <laughs> yeah. Billy's very, you know, he's laid back, but he's, he's, you know, he's energetic at times. Yeah. 
I, I, I bet you if you told him he came in second place, he'd probably be more sympathetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy's, Billy's a fun guy. Yeah. yeah, that's what I hear. I've, I've worked with him. Yeah, for the whole since I yeah for the entirety of I've been on since Cobra you've been on the show right yeah. okay so I, I know him really well so so let's, let's let's talk about that let's talk about Cobra Kai so um, again at the top of the show I mentioned you you um, you come in in season two as a background Cobra um, so your mom found this opportunity for you uh, as as being somebody in background do you have to audition or do you just um, you know do you go to like a casting and then they just kind of take a look at you and be like okay yeah we can use you. I, I think my mom submitted me for the role and she, she did, she like put, you know, if you have any like experience or, you know, special qualities or whatever. And I think she put down, I have like, like martial arts experience, like mixed, mixed martial arts experience and stuff. And um, it was, I guess it was director picked role. Um, so I just, I just got it. So I, you know, it was, it was, it was a good thing that I got it because the experience has been awesome. That's good. That's good. And it, it sounds like everyone's having a good time uh, as well. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if you're familiar with Nate's story. You know, Hannah kind of did the same thing with them. Um, she, you know, got him on the show. And then eventually they just started throwing him some lines. And, you know, he's oh, yeah, one of the, yeah. you know, the few um, fan favorites. Did, did you, you heard about his, like, his whole story and what happened? Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, basically, well, if, if it's about like when, um, yeah, he was just supposed to be an extra and then they uh, gave him a line and then eventually he just became somebody to kind of like combat uh, Bert. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was because that's what happened to Owen, too. Mm -hmm. um, who is it? Uh, Nate. He was he was with me because there was they they grab like they grabbed a whole bunch of, you know, kids. Hmm. like around our age and they put them together into the dojo and then um you know as time went along and as they kept filming and stuff um nate was actually i think um i'm not sure i but um i think nate and his mom were thinking about like not doing it anymore and like leaving they're like saying oh this wasn't this this doesn't seem for like it's it would be for us and stuff but my mom was like, okay, yeah, you know, but, you know, see, see what happens. Just stay, stay and see what happens. Cause you know, you never know what happens in the industry like this. And then, um, you know, later on they, they gave him a line and then the rest is rest of history for him. So. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's probably a little bit more than, than what I've um, heard, but it's, it, it tracks for sure. So you just never know when, when your time is up, when, you know, you'll be given a name, maybe, you know, when you're given lines. Um, okay. So yeah, just stick with it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so see, season two, like one of the earlier scenes, uh, we, do, we do see your character. You were part of the cement truck too, right? Oh yeah, that was yeah. a fun. Yeah. yeah, what do you remember from, from filming that scene? Man, um, it was a hot day. Um, even though I had a tank top on, I had, they put me in some sweatpants that were very hot. Um, yeah, my, there was, it, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty under there. <laughs> Just some sweat dripping down my legs. I felt it. Yeah, I think. Um... It was really hot, but um, yeah, they, they put up, ended up putting on like this, you know, it looked like cement, but it was actually like some, you know, clay mask stuff that you put on your face and they mixed mm -hmm. it other ingredients and they you know they told us to go reach in that that uh that wheelbarrow over there and then you know put it everywhere wherever you want it and then it was it was a fun scene so oh so so, so you guys smothered all that stuff on yourself yeah oh that's interesting yeah and you guys did a good job that. yeah <laughs> awesome. i think um i think it was gabe's mom who I don't remember if it was her that showed us some pictures behind the scenes, but yeah, you know, um, sometimes some of the moms in our group page sh uh, share behind the scene uh, pictures after the season has aired, you know, mm -hmm. so th those are always really exciting to see. Um, yeah, and Owen was, um, I think he's, I think everybody saw that, but Owen was, remember, Owen was stuck in, in the cement. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, in the picture? 
or, or yeah, in the in the uh, in the in the show, he was he was he was stuck in this the actual like they they put like clay or the clay stuff around his feet, but you know in the show it, it was him stuck in the cement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. I wonder if that's something something I missed. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I haven't watched season two since probably the entire time season three's been out at this point. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've just been that's watching. Awesome. Too. Yeah, just three over and over, and then we went back and re. I think we went back and rewatched season one not too long ago because my son, who's eight now, he started watching the show um, mid season two because he he was too young, you know. Yeah. Um, and now that season three is out, he's seen he's seen that, and he wanted to go back and watch the first season because at that point he was what maybe not even six yet so oh, wow. <laughs> um yeah so he's watched it out of order but he still really enjoys um the show mm-hmm. um so season two uh was also the introduction of since Crease to the cobra kai um and then and then there, there's a bit of a falling out oh yeah <laughs> so what do you remember from um filming the because because your character doesn't have lines, so I, I'm not sure. Do you get the script as well? Um, I actually for season two, I stood in for Peyton Less. You know, you know Peyton, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still oh, know who she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stood in for her a lot um, because we're the same height. Five right. Years. I was about to ask. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, either yeah. the height or you guys both have really nice long hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I stood in for Peyton a lot. And, you know, if you're standing, you usually get, you know, the, uh, the sides to, okay. to the, uh, what you're doing the whole day and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, regular, even, even though we were a core background, we didn't, we didn't always get the, the sides. Um, so do you deliver her lines as well uh, for the, uh, no, as a stand-in? I just, okay. I just, you know, if you're standing, I guess you get sides to, to know what's going on, um, you know, to know what characters are saying what at like what location and this and that so you know where to go and stuff when you're standing in yeah um, because um i was gonna go back to the season two finale where we we see the the, um, the back dojo with crease and you're one of the gosh what is it eight students that, that's back there with I, like yeah i think it was eight it was me hawk um aj jacob it was aj chris uh craig um who else was back there right paul paul walter hauser i think he was was yeah yeah Yeah. um i'm trying to remember who else there's two other people yeah you Um, said craig did you say did you say peyton oh peyton was there yeah that's right that's right there and then did you count yourself (laughs) yeah yeah there's one more person, um, cause was Sholo there? I don't know. No, cause he was in the hospital. That's oh, that's right. He was in the hospital. It was somebody else. I remember. I don't know. It was eight of us though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what do you remember? Like, just either going over the sides or f- filming that day, because that's a ver- very tense scene b- between uh, Chris and and Johnny. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, in the, you know, in the, the filming world, it's like shot after shot after shot from different angle and a different angle. Um, it was, it was that same scene over and over, but, you know, the first time we did it, it was, yeah, it was intense. Um, you know, that's that standoff face off against them too. And then, um, cause I didn't know what was going to happen, like what was happening, um, before that scene, you know, uh, happened. And when I learned that, you know, Johnny and, you know, well, Chris took, when Chris took over Johnny's dojo, it was, it was a surprise, I, I think, to a lot of people. Like, oh, yeah. A lot of us, so. <laughs> okay, that's, that's really interesting. So, um, so you come back for season three. You are also pre- pretty well uh, uh, featured in the clearance scene. So I think if I say clearance scene, everyone knows what I'm talking about. But yeah. Um, yeah, you're you're very much there up front. Uh, what do you remember about that too? And I guess for the longest time, many of us thought that it was a mouse or a rat or a hamster, but it's actually, wait, no, it's a hamster. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. a mouse. Yeah, it is. It is a hamster. Um, right. 
I think yeah. Owen told us that. We're like, oh, okay, don't tell us a mouse. <laughs> it um, that was a that was, you know, that was pretty you know, crease thing. You know, we're gonna feed the 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 the, the, the mouse to the the snake. I was I was like, oh, we're gonna do that. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but yeah. But when I saw the snake, I was like. I started, was trying to figure, I was like, might happen, but I'm not sure, but it, it might happen. Um, but the snake, you know, you know, it, you didn't get to see it or whatever. So it was just like sound effects, but um, I think they had a rubber snake in there. I think I remember <laughs> to make it look like they had a snake in there, but yeah, <laughs> it was, it was funny. Uh, Owen said that the hamster kept on defecating on like, Marty's oh. hand or arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it didn't stop. I it like after every take, it was I don't know, I was scared or something. It it just kept doing it. I was like <laughs> everybody kept laughing. I I wonder if they uh fed it before filming or something, you know, and so like they hamster had a full stomach and was just intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, maybe that, that's pretty funny. And and uh, apparently uh he stayed in character too so that oh yeah, yeah. everybody stayed in character and like <laughs> it was happening during the scene when they were you know doing their lines so it was yeah. good for everybody for keeping their composure <laughs> yeah shit, shit happens um now <laughs> yeah okay so so that was a clearance scene um you're are you on the soccer field i forget the the scrimmage yeah, okay yeah. so what was that like because um Speaking with like Hito and Janelle, it sounds like filming that sequence was um, you guys were kind of just like uh, short on time and stuff. Uh, so everything oh. was just kind of go, go, go. It was scene after scene after scene. Yeah, it was back to back. Um, that scene where we, uh, I think it was we pushed Gianni uh, in the in the trash can. Was it Johnny? I think it was Johnny. Um, uh, in the trash can? In the trash can. And then we were laughing. Um, I, I don't. I don't remember that scene. You don't remember that scene? Trash can during the soccer scrimmage. It was. It was at school. I think it was before the soccer match happened. Before. Are you sure that's season three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trash can. Gosh, I'm 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 having a I'm, I'm blank right now. Um, it's all good. Is is it the same episode? It is the same episode. Uh, yeah, okay. we were in the soccer. It was before the um, before the the soccer match. Or are you talking about the Legos in the cafeteria? No, no, no. It was hmm. um, I think Jacob pushed Gianni in the the in the trash can. I don't know if it was them. I think it was. Jacob, though, because Gosh. me, me, Jacob, Craig, AJ, um, yeah, and then I mm. think you stunt guys and then Jacob. Um, Gosh, I, I feel like an idiot because I, I don't even remember <laughs> the only trash can scene I remember with, with uh, uh, Dimitri is from season one um, mm -hmm. when Kyler you know throws his backpack in the trash can in the library. But I don't oh. remember one where he gets pushed into the trash can. Does he go in the trash can, or he just like bumps into it? Man, it's been a while. I know, I know. We're talking about like 2019 here. Yeah, it's been like three, two years. Almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. Yeah, year and a half. Um, that scene well, was. Yeah. Um, that scene was fun. Um, the soccer scene, we were running around a lot. Um, we actually got soccer pads and stuff like shin pads and and some cleats. Uh -huh. um, or we didn't get cleats, but we we got soccer shin pads. Um, and something probably a lot of people wouldn't see was I was um, I was on on one team and uh, running around, and then for another scene, I was the goalie for the other team. <laughs> it's it sounds weird, but. You know, I guess I don't know if anybody noticed or not, but no, now that you mentioned that, I'm gonna need to go in and, and look for those screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like again, speaking with like Hito and Janelle, and they're they're talking about you know the fight sequence at the LaRusso house, 
And um, there was something that they wanted to do. I think, you know, having uh, Peyton and Mary leave. And I guess they were talking about like, well, how, how do we get there? And then they're like, okay, all right. Well, we need somebody that's Miyagi-Do. <laughs> you know, so they have to make sure that they grab the right person to be, you know, to fight like the, the, the other, you know, to make sure that you guys aren't on the same team fighting each other. Continuity and, you know. Exactly. Everything is, checks out. But yeah, that I, when I when I did that, I was like, "Is this all right?" But they kept filming, so I was like, "Okay." <laughs> but yeah, you'll you'll see me when I'm running. I have a red head headband on, and then you'll see me as a goalie. I think with a gray shirt um, and not the jersey on, and you'll see me with the red the red headband. And I was actually throwing the soccer ball to Jacob to hit on his on his head. Okay. Like, no, oh yeah yeah that's that's really true. you know per, perhaps you have a twin brother we don't know about yet yeah maybe <laughs> that, that, that might get introduced um <laughs> now okay so so uh, again be, between Chris and johnny we mentioned that uh Chris takes cobra kai johnny forms uh eagle fang eagle fang okay. I, I i had to rock the shirt Thank because I was, I was speaking with you today <laughs> so uh you, you mentioned you do get some of the sides. I don't know if you were still standing in for Peyton in season three. Um, season three, no, I wasn't. I'm I'm not sure if I was a couple of times or not, but I just remember. Um, I remember because before I went to Eagle Fang, like they they didn't tell me like what dojo, what the name was. I don't right. even know. If they had the name figured out yet or anything um but you know they they're like you're going to a new dojo and i was like i was like oh okay um because you know i didn't i didn't know what was happening so. can, can you talk about that like uh, so so how do, how does that happen um because it, it was kind of the same thing when i was speaking with like nate the first time like so how did they decide which which dojo member or which uh, Cobra Kai members were going to leave Cobra Kai and go join with Miyagi-Do. So, uh, so how did you find out? Um, what was this literally like on set one day, someone came up to you and like, Hey Xander, uh, just so you know, your character is going to join another dojo. Is that yeah. pretty much how it went down? <laughs> pretty much how I went down. Okay. And, um, I, if I remember it correctly, um, one of the PAs uh, came and got me and then, um, I, I was in front of the directors too. Um, and they're like, you know, your, your character is going to be like, um, you know, part of this new dojo is it's going to be with Johnny. And I was like, at the time I didn't know what was happening, but then later as we, you know, as we filmed it, I put, put together the pieces and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so when was Eagle Fang revealed to you? When was Eagle Fang revealed to me? So like the name, the, the, the logo. The, the shirts, whatever. Yeah. You, you, so you're like your first impression when you heard this. I think. Um, oh, oh, when when was it revealed to me? Like uh -huh. the name and everything? Yeah. Um, what was it? And this is. What was it at the park? I think it was at, I think it was at the park when, when I first learned the name. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> At the park, I learned I learned the name of it and and stuff. So I was like, okay, I think I'm not sure, but um, I might have might have got like before that might have heard Eagle Fang tossed out there maybe once. I'm not sure, but if if not, then it was it was definitely at the park. <laughs> so when did you finally get used to the name? When did I when did I finally get used to it? Uh huh. What do, you, what do you mean? Because it's just a weird eagle fang, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at, at an initial thought, I was like, eagle with fangs. Hmm. Okay. Well, Mitch uh, is like, well, you, eagles don't have. Yeah, fangs. yeah. And then they're like, they're like, Mitch, say this, you know. And then he had that line. <laughs> and then, of course, the shirt is too small. Right. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's Aiden. But, uh, Eagle Fang. I, you know, I got used to it and I was, I started thinking, you know, Johnny is, you know, you get, he got, he gets kicked out of, you know, his Cobra Kai dojo, right? Um, so I'm, you know, I, I guess I, deep, I think a little deeper about things, but um, 
you know, he still has like say the, you know, the fangs, the Cobra, he has, he's still part Cobra. So, but he's also starting something new. Um, and he's, you know, I guess you would metaphorically say like he's flying away and starting his own dojo. Okay. But he still wants to retain some of the, you know, the, co- the Cobra toughness. The badassness. Yeah. yeah badassness. So he just like moshed them together, I guess. And, you know, I, yeah, that's how it became that, I guess. <laughs> it, it, it could be, you know, maybe that's something, um, you know, John, Josh and Hayden can answer at some point. You know, like yeah. where did you guys get the idea for that? Because obviously he has uh, the eagle um, uh, poster in his apartment, and you know one of his favorite movies is uh, Iron Eagle that he always Iron watches. Yeah, yeah. So it could be a number of those things. Yeah, um, I got drew inspiration from that too. Yeah, yeah, Iron Eagle. yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I think so. So I, I get you have to forgive me because like I, I can't even think right now. Um, you know, inside baseball for those that are watching the video version or even listening to the audio is like super late for the both of us more so you because you're three hours ahead so yeah, um yeah yeah like my mind was almost like shut down but your mom's like oh he's he's a night owl like oh, okay yeah, uh, yeah we spoke with jacob around this time too uh, in the evening so right. yeah but he's <laughs> he's west coast so it's a little bit different exactly um, like eight like you know 10 o'clock over there or whatever uh almost yeah almost yeah. 11 um now were you part of the the fight at the LaRusso house? The LaRusso house. No. In season three, you mean? Yeah, season three. Yep. No, no, I, I wasn't. Um, Cause it was, was, it was, it's been a while. It was, um, it was Cobras and Miyagi's, right? It, it was, but um, I guess now that I think about it, like of the Eagle Fang uh, crew, it was Miguel, Bert, Mitch, um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was a few. So like, if if you showed up, I mean, so you were definitely not there because the ones that do show up is Cobra Kai. Yeah. You know, so um, any, well, I guess like between Miyagi Do and Cobra Kai, they or Eagle Fang, they already had like enough people to kind of combat the Cobra Kai. Maybe that's why your character wasn't used. But um, yeah, usually my, they just they just do the you know. Usually I use, just use the mains if they're like doing like a scene or something. Um, yeah. But it would have been fun to be in that, but I will Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we've heard all types of stories for sure. Um, well, oh, yeah, it, actually, um, sorry for interrupting no, you, but go ahead. I would, we were there. Um, a lot of decisions are made like last, last minute on, on set. So um, now that I remember it, I think, we were supposed to be in that scene, but something happened or they made a decision or something. And then they're like, okay, you're actually not doing this, the scene anymore. So I was like, I didn't know what the scene was. I just saw like everybody wearing like, you know, colorful clothing and, and stuff like that. And uh, I, I wonder um, if it was, cause originally that was gonna be filmed in Miyagi Do's backyard. And then mm-hmm. I think due to the weather, they had to change the location of the filming and made it uh, the Russell's house. And yeah, so, yeah, so I wonder yeah. if that's why, because yeah. less space. Mm-hmm. Probably. Because, yeah, I, I remember, yeah, now that you say that, it, it was raining that day. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, as we get ready to wrap up, um, you know, we, we don't ask anything that we haven't seen yet, right? So like any future seasons, whether you're in it or not, we're not going to bring that up. Yeah. But um, no anything here. else? What was that? <laughs> that? No spoilers here. That's right. No spoilers. Uh, not in this dojo. Um, but uh, as we get ready to wrap up, is there um, any other memory uh, that you have of season two or three that we haven't discussed yet that um, stories, whether in front or behind the camera, uh, some takes that, you know, uh, that kept on getting reshots because people were like breaking character or anything like that? Um, <laughs> uh, Cobra Kai, you know, on, on, on camera, it's, you know, um, sometimes we mess around too much. Um, Jacob, of course, he's, he's the jokester, um, Aiden too. Um, but sometimes, you know, they, they have to re- reshoot or, or, you know, people mess up their minds and it's, it's funny. Um, there is, I think season two, um, it was, 
it was the wood scene, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, With, uh, episode seven. Coyote Creek. Mm-hmm. Um, who is it? Martin. Martin Cove. You know, he's, he's, he's older. And, you know, when, when you're in that age, you don't remember as much as you, you're not, you're not as, you, you know, your mind. And he's lived a life too. He's yeah, exactly. Yeah. And your mind isn't as elastic. Um, there's, there's that day and we had to keep reshooting, reshooting, reshooting. And um, cause he would get through like some of his line and he was, he'd be like, shoot. <laughs> um, we, we did so many takes that day, but um, <laughs> he, yeah, he, he couldn't get his line now, but I mean, he's, he's an awesome actor, but yeah, yeah, just, uh, just, he was, he was, in, <laughs> it was funny. In, but. in season three, I'm, I'm kind of forgetting the timeline for your character, but was your character still part of Cobra Kai when, um, when Hawk and Brooks fight, you know, where Hawk just goes to zero to 60 and beats the crap out of Brooks? Ooh. Hmm. I'm not sure because you don't remember that being filmed after the wait. So season three. Yeah, I think that was episode six when that happens. And by seven, you were Eagle Fang. Eagle Fang. Um, I think before that, I was Eagle Fang, but um, okay. Like behind the scenes, like like yeah, your behind. character had already left Cobra Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes. Because they didn't, you know, they didn't really give me why I left. Yeah. Um, but you know, I was I was fine because you know I worked with, with uh Billy the whole time. Right, right. Like, oh, um but they didn't they didn't they didn't give me a story behind why. Right. I guess that's that's up for you know interpretation. Um <laughs> But yeah, before before that was was probably yeah before that. Yeah, at, at least you knew everybody that was part of Eagle Fang when when you switched over too, because like with um, people like Khalil and and Nate, they started off Cobra Kai season two, and then mid season oh, yeah. they had to switch. They, right. So um, who is it? Uh, Ralph came into the dojo, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, the the gates of Miyagi are wide open." <laughs> <laughs> and then people started leaving and we were like oh everybody's leaving what's going on <laughs> like oh shoot okay um but that was that was a wow you're bringing me back way back <laughs> yeah some fun um, memories i mean it was your very first experience it was yeah it was a very fun first experience um off the scene or off you know off off set and stuff um i'm really close with a lot of the you know the background guys um i oh i'll, I'll tell you this story um <laughs> in uh season it was season two um Khalil, with khalil me and him uh well he and he would invite like me and i don't know if you remember there was a guy named jared um he was he's part of he was part of the background guys he was going to be in season three but i think um he couldn't make some so they're like, okay, we'll just, uh, you know, snip them or uh-huh. sure. don't need them anymore or whatever. Um, but he, Khalil, we made really good friends with, and um, he would invite us to parties in Atlanta because he knew people at like, you know, the colleges or whatever, like Spellman or Morehouse. Uh-huh. And they they were fun. And, um, but there was one night where it was, it was, uh, you know, party and then we went in the party you know had had fun whatever and then when we came back out my car was not there my, my car was gone I was like I was like hold on wait I was like I hope it's not stolen I was I was praying it wasn't stolen and thankfully it wasn't but it was it was towed so <laughs> <laughs> somebody towed your car yeah <laughs> um I don't know why, because there was so many like there was there's nice cars there and stuff. I don't know why my car got towed out of all those, but yeah, it was it was a nice nice two hundred bucks. <laughs> How did you even find out? Like, uh, well, <laughs> what happened? Well, it was me and Khalil. Um, 
when we when we walked out we were like that, that was a fun party and we we're walking we we're talking and you know on the on the road and then when we when we get closer and closer to where the car was supposed to be we we're like hold up where, where's the car <laughs> and we we didn't know what to do and we were, <laughs> we were panicking a little bit and i was like okay okay what, what am i gonna do okay so <laughs> we should we should call an uber first right and um because it was it was late it was like two three four in the morning and you know we we're like we're, we're too tired to deal with this right now and so <laughs> i went back to clue's place and then you know i figured it out in the morning and called the the towing companies around and whatever and then you know i found my car so i was it was great i was just grateful i found my car <laughs> yeah they, so they just said that you were just parking somewhere where you weren't supposed to be i guess so and all those cars weren't supposed to be parked there either but oh, i don't wow. know no that's so. crazy yeah that's yeah it, it that, that that's the fun stuff you know hearing some of these stories like um you know sholo shared the uh the, the rice cooker you know that like jacob bought but then like left on the the bottom of the cart shopping cart so you probably yeah. heard that story too <laughs> <laughs> oh this oh. guy's those guys are awesome. They're so fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I was supposed to go. I was supposed to go rock climbing with them, but it didn't. It didn't work out. I, I don't remember. It was season three or this season. It was. It was actually this. Yeah, it was. It was this season. We were supposed to go rock climbing, but um, you know, scheduling stuff, and didn't. It didn't work out. But um, uh, my friend Craig. You know, you you know Craig. Um, I I met Craig actually. He um he came to our meetup in Atlanta right before season three started filming. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Craig, he, um, I should call it. Where was I? Um, what was I talking about? Sorry. I, I, oh, uh, rock climbing. Rock climbing. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I like to go rock climbing and stuff. And, um, Craig, he, uh, he's climbed with, with, uh, Jacob and, and Aiden before. Um, and we we're, we're all going to get together and climb, but yeah, it didn't work out. But I guess next season when, when they come back, We'll, we'll figure something out yeah but let's see yeah see um so you you maybe could have even come too because our meetup was during dragon con you know and I, yeah so um you know owen and, and nate I, I met up with them early on uh and, and um uh, and connor yeah mm-hmm. uh, I, I met up with with all of them and then we did the dragon con thing and then like that um saturday afternoon we had to meet up. So, um, yeah, if, if I even, I don't think I knew your mom yet at the time, but we definitely yeah, would have extended yeah. the invite for you guys to come for sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there we go. So, um, well, you guys, you guys were at drag. Where, where was it? It was like, it was, um, it was in Atlanta, right? Yeah, it was in Atlanta and we did it at a, I'm forgetting the name of the, it was, it was a pub, but they're downtown red doors and, um, it, it was family friendly. And we wanted to make sure that, you know, kids were going to be able to go because, you know, again, like Austin and Asher were underage, you know, so. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yep. No, we had a pretty good spot. And this is before Netflix. So we went in and people didn't know what this, you know, cast of Cobra Kai was was doing there. But there was definitely fans dressed in Cobra Kai geese that that knew about the meetup. And so they showed up, too. And. Had a good time, got pictures with everybody. I got a little video from, uh, of it. I'll, I'll tag you on uh, Instagram if you want to check it out. Okay, um, yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, those, you know, get togethers like that are fun. Um, yeah. Like that, I mean, we had we had like a rap party for season three. Um, I saw your mom's yeah. cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For, for this season. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or for last season. Or right. For season two. Which, 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 which <laughs> her, her uh, <laughs> eagle fang. <laughs> oh eagle fang okay yeah yeah, yeah. The, the one the, with the uh, the cobra in its uh, beak yeah 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 um she yes that was that was cool um i was actually still filming when she said that to me and i was like oh that's sweet um so i i didn't know she was making that until she showed me and I, she was like check this out i was like okay that's that's sweet yeah yeah, so, yeah. Um, that's it's cool how she incorporated all that together Oh, there's a bit of a lag here on my end. Yeah. Okay. Oh, am I? Am I a little? You're you're lagging a little bit too. Okay. 
Well, I think that's probably a, a good uh, good stopping point right there. So, uh, Xander, I want to thank you so much for for coming on, speaking to me, uh, telling us about your culture. Hopefully, people check out some of the the dishes that you talked about. Maybe check out the debut with Dante Basco, the oh, yeah. Filipino sure, movie. Yeah. Course. But but your stories too, man. Uh, that, that's a lot of fun, and it sounds like you ha- you might have some more. Uh, so we'll definitely keep an eye yeah. out for uh, for Dirk in season four, and you know uh, hopefully we can get you come back and, and share some more stories. Yeah, and I'm actually um, what should we call it? I'm looking at doing stunt training stuff, and you know getting back into martial arts because um, I really want to get back into it. And then um, you know my. My, my great uncle, he's, um, he's, he's passed away. So, you know, I have a legacy to, you know, that I feel like that I want to. You want to honor him. That, you know, yeah. I want to honor him. I want to, I want to keep it going, his legacy yeah. and stuff, what he created and stuff. So I just want to get back into that. And, you know, I, this, you know, these upcoming years, I, I have a lot planned and um, a lot of exciting stuff. That sounds amazing, man. Yeah, we'll we'll, de- we'll definitely be in touch, and uh, and I'd love to see everything that you you do. Uh, I I know you would make him proud. Yeah. <laughs> so what what'd you say? I said I know you'd make him proud. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I I hope I would. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. No I, no, I I think that that's really awesome. You know, for um having, uh, I mean, you said what about sixteen? You kind of stopped, you know, and so to make the decision, uh, yeah. you kind of go back. Thirteen, thirteen. I stopped, and then. Because you know, with the Taekwondo, Taekwondo was the big one. Um, because I was that was where most of my training came from. And then you know, my master would teach me jujitsu and weapons mm. and like extreme martial arts mixed in with that. So um, you know, when I stopped at that certain level, when I found out I couldn't go any further because of my age and I couldn't progress, I I stopped with everything. I guess you know, but now I wanted you know I'm touching back on um you know my old old roots and wanting to do all that stuff again so that's awesome yeah mm-hmm. and and stone work like um you know again like like i, I mentioned i spoke with mark and it's amazing to, to, to see a lot of the things he did to all the competitions he participated in that guy is is pretty cool with uh you know all the tricking and the things that he does oh, yeah for yeah. sure yeah all those so, Everybody on set is awesome, and uh, who is it? I haven't mentioned the uh, the directors yet. The, those guys are awesome. I like I like working with them. I have a couple of conversations, and you know. Anything you want to share real quick before we wrap up? Um, you talking about like John, Josh, and Hayden? Yeah, they're they're awesome. Um, I got to say because um, what is it? You know, we work on like splinter units sometimes. So What's that? We work on splinter units where like half of um, set is filming here and half okay filming different areas. Um, I unfortunately didn't get to say um, bye to Josh or it wasn't Josh. Um, Hayden and um, what was it? John. Hayden, Hayden and John. Yeah, um, because Josh was working on where I was I was filming at. So, but you know. I'll say, you know, I'll, I'll say, I'll say hi to him for sure next season. You know, I'll, I'll see him again next season. Um, but this, this, this season, I, I didn't get to say bye to him. But you know, got, got there was an, there was an rap party, but there, there's a lot of cool, uh, you know, goodbye gifts that that I got, other people got. So yeah, it pr- probably hard to have a, a party right now with kind of everything going on, right? Yeah. yeah. So. We were, all, think we were all that. thinking you we are all thinking it would be an outdoor one, but no, not not this year. You don't want to risk it, you know. No, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Totally <laughs> understand. Um yeah, now I, I know that your Instagram is a little bare, but I don't know if you welcome the interactions. Are you uh anywhere else on social media if people want to follow you? Um yeah. Um I'm actually because you know I haven't posted like I, I didn't put po- I haven't posted anything since junior year so that was like a couple of years ago but um I because I, I used to be really active um like middle school early high school and um to you know mid high school but then I don't know I sort of fell out of it and 
I guess I got into a habit of not, you know, doing social media and stuff and I got comfortable. But now I, I'm realizing that, you know, I have so many networking uh, prior, uh, or not, um, opportunities and, um, you know, all the things that I want to do. Like I want to start like my own business doing this or, you know, nice. um, just different interests and a lot of other things that, you know, require networking. So I'm getting back into the, the social networking sphere. So I'm, I'm going to revamp like all my social net uh, media stuff like this month, like June, July, and then I'm going to be keeping up with it constantly. But um, yeah, fresh start. So um, you can, you can get, catch me on um, yeah, Instagram. Um, I'm going to be doing, you know, updating my Facebook, um, Twitter, all the main ones, of course, um, Snapchat. Um, <laughs> I forgot that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. it's it's on uh, TikTok now, you know. TikTok, yeah, I'm TikTok. I, I'm <laughs> that's that's a different community. Um, I'll probably jump into that. Uh, in maybe this year, next year, who knows? But I know I'll be into that sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, for the listeners and viewers, if you guys want to follow me, I'm on Twitter at Cobra Kai Pod and a new Instagram account because the last one got deactivated and it doesn't look like I'm getting it back. So at Cobra Kai Companion, I just spell with a K. So um, that's going to do it. Xander, thanks again for joining me and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for having me. And you can reach me at uh, Xander Serrano at Instagram right now. But... <laughs> All my other social medias, you'll, you'll see me on soon.